Hi everybody, this is Michael and I'm back to talk to you about the Ring doorbell that I installed a few months ago. I had a lot of questions both in the comments and people um, sending me emails asking me for an update. And so, here's the update. But, let's do the intro first. Stay tuned. been a few months since we got the uh, ring doorbell video uh, uploaded showed you guys how we did it since then we've been a few thousand miles of traveling through about five or six different states and so how is it held up in the the rain and the wind some cold and you know just driving down the road how is the bracket held up what problems have we run into well before we talk about that let's take a quick look at um, actually how that install was done once it, we got a good charge on this, I can go into the Ring app and we will get it set up. Okay, so I've already logged into the Ring app. So I go up to choose uh, Add a Device. Click the plus sign there at the bottom right corner. Pick the drive of device, which would be a doorbell. I scan the doorbell. Follow the directions. Really, really simple. As we move along here, I give it a good name. This is for the RV. I'll name it RV. Hit next. Hit that button. Again, Ring makes it really simple. We just follow the video directions. You can also do this while you're charging your device as well. Here we're almost done. Awesome. There we go. We're finished. We're co connecting it to the internal uh, Wi-Fi network. The first thing it does, once it does get connected, it will um, download any um, firmware software updates that it may need. So, to mount it, I'm going to use some 3M automotive uh, attachment tape. It's very strong. This is stuff they use to put like molding and stuff like that on a car. So I'm gonna put a couple of strips of it on here. And there's one strip. For this. You really want good strong tape to hold it, but you don't want tape that can't come off easily too if you wanna move this or just get rid of it all together for whatever reason. You don't want something that damages your paint. And that's why I went with the 3M Auto Advance. I have a link to this on when I got it off of Amazon. The instructions are really simple. Um, right here. We're just going to press that on, and that's it. It's installed. Again, you got the two set screws here at the bottom, and just tighten up those set screws, and that's it. You're done. Okay, so there's the abbreviated version of the installation. Um, you can see the full video link in this card right up here, and also in the description below. And you can see the whole install from opening the box to pressing the doorbell installed on the door of the RV. Well, we've talked about how easy this doorbell is to install. We've talked about how good the quality is. But what we haven't done is we haven't shown that quality. So let's take a look at some day and night footage of the Ring doorbell in action. Hang on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some motion-activated footage from last month. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit play here. And the reason things are kind of swinging around like you see right here is we don't have the door closed. So it's just kind of flapping back and forth. But as you can see, really good quality. Um, you see the wind um, flapping on the on the awning there so you got and you can hear that so sound pickups really good and again these are all motion alerts um, it does a really good job of picking up the motion as I said in the original video you can set how sensitive the motion is as well as how um, far out the distance wise you can go and there's Talon taking a walk in the grass this was actually filmed at Shields RV Park in Gulfport, Mississippi, prior to all the lockdowns. There's Shelly opening the door. But as you can see, good HD quality camera. This is a, again, this is a refurbished camera. It's not the top of the line. Okay, now, here we are at nighttime. Um, again, the door's flapping open. We're walking in and out. 
but you're going to get some good um, idea of how well this this picks up both video and sound at night and at night is really where I need to um, angle the camera out so we don't get the as much of a glare off the slide out here there's Shelly walking out with Talon and not to worry Talon's on a leash always But as you can see, really good quality. There was no lights. These lights were quite a distance away. This is actually at a Cabela's parking lot around Augusta, I believe. So there was no lights on in the parking lot and you can still see pretty darn well out there. If somebody comes, you can definitely see them well enough to make out you know, who it is. And this is a nice thing here. We were, we were boondocking in this Cabela, so I put the camera out Simply as a security measure, we have a dash cam that has um, motion alerts as well, and we had that on the on the front of the RV, and so, and we have a couple other security cameras that we'll talk about in a later video. Is ring doorbell the only option? No. There are quite a few um, video doorbell solutions out there on the market. You can do a do Google search or look in Amazon and see a lot of different um, doorbell options for a lot of different prices. So if you want to try one of those, the biggest thing you need to remember is the doorbell must be battery powered. Because if it's not battery powered, that means you're gonna need to run a wire and probably drill a hole in your door to push that wire through um, to power the doorbell. And that's just not a good idea. Get a battery powered um, doorbell. Also, I recommend getting one that records to the cloud. Um, there's a lot of video doorbells, of video cameras out there that record, but they record to an SD card. Well, that SD card is great as long as you can get to it, but if you can't get to the SD card because somebody stole your RV or somebody stole your doorbell, then your evidence is gone. So by getting one that records to the cloud, yeah, you'll probably have to pay a monthly fee for it, um, but you can just look at it like it insurance. Um, if it's not something you're concerned about, then just get one that records locally. Um, but for my my own peace of mind and my recommendation would be to get one that records and, and puts that recording up to the cloud and also one that pushes out um, motion detection and um, doorbell um, notifications to your phone. Again, this works not just with a single phone, multiple members, uh, uh, whoever you want, um, you can have them act, give them access to the camera so they can get notifications on their phone too. And each individual can decide to turn the app, turn the notifications off or on as well. Take a look, see what else is out there. If the ring doorbell is maybe too expensive for you or you don't care for the ring doorbell, see what other options are available. Now let's actually talk about the ring doorbell and how it's been since we installed this about four months ago. Biggest question I had at the end of the original video was battery life. Well, battery life is really good. Uh, we were at a park for two weeks, very heavy traffic area. It was for a while there, it was going off, the motion detector was going off all the time during the day and a lot at night, just because we were so close to a, the main road of that um, RV park. So as people drove by or walked by, it was set off the motion alarm. So I turned off all the zones, uh, but one, and it made that zone really, really small, still picked up uh, uh, quite a bit of motion, so it was still going off a lot. So even with all that going on, after about two weeks, the battery was at 40% life. So it still had a lot to go. Um, and since the battery only takes about 30 to 40 minutes to charge, um, it's a quick recharge. Um, you don't leave the ring doorbell installed driving down the road. So you take it out, Plug it in, let it charge while you're driving to your next destination. If you're at a place longer than probably three, four weeks, maybe even five weeks, depending on your settings, and you can get away with it, um, then you know you just take the take the doorbell off and charge it. You know whenever you want. You will get notifications on your phone on your app uh, if you get to a low battery state, and you can always check the battery usage um, through the app whenever you want. And that's it. It's great product for us. We love it. 
and I highly recommend it, or at least something like it. If you're again, like if you're not a fan of the Ring um, product, there's other video doorbell solutions out there. Again, just make sure they're battery powered, and my recommendation is also make sure they upload to the cloud, and look at what the monthly fees would be for that. Um, so, if you like this video, you know somebody who could use some extra security, peace of mind for their RV, um, share this video with them. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below um, if you have any questions or, or if you have a ring doorbell or a similar solution or a better idea, leave us a comment for that. We'd love to know about that and check that out as well. And as always, thanks for watching and we hope to see you down the road.